Hello all, and <clears throat> as is the case, I am late. Um, I had hoped to do a video yesterday, um, didn't get around to it, still didn't get to see everything I wanted to see, um, but I still, the only thing that will not be, and I don't even know if I'll do a video on it, I'll have to watch it and see, um, will be, uh, Spring Break 2, um, but we'll get to that, uh, but I've watched everything else I was going to watch, most of you are probably watching WrestleMania right now, um, I did hear that the first night was actually pretty good, so uh, that's good. I heard that, um, I, yeah, and, you know, I did find it funny that they debuted Cody, and then all of a sudden, like, it was like a blitz of, like, Cody interviews and, and Cody from, like, all of this stuff. It was, it was very much a, hey, we got one, and then let him say his piece, and I thought some of the stuff that, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Cody's a worker, Cody's going to work. Um, Cody's going to say what Cody needs to say, but I found a lot of the stuff that Cody said kind of, like, eye-rolly, um, in a lot of ways, so, uh, we, we'll see how that goes, but anyways, um, but I heard that it was, it was a really good moment, I heard the match was, was great, so, props there, I guess, um, but anyways, um, let's just go with the stuff that I watched, uh, which is a ton of stuff. Um, I will probably I'll probably go through a lot of this really quick because there's a lot to go down. But um, I did watch uh, Spring Break one. I did not think this was a very good show at all. Um, I usually really really like the Spring Break shows, but this show felt exactly like just a normal. Well, I should say normal, like more of a high profile GCW show than the Spring Breaks, which have been very different. I should say very different but have been different from the GCW shows in that they, for fun, had some more comedy stuff on them, um, were more of that sort of thing, and um, this was not this. This was not a good show, in my opinion. Um, but we will get to that. Uh, we started with the Briscoes versus Nick Gage by himself, because Tremont, who, beat, who with Gage, beat the Briscoes on uh, the... Hammerstein show um, wasn't there. Eventually, Gage was by himself, and then eventually Slade came out and 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 took the place and whatever. Um, and then uh, taking on the second gear crew, um, who I like a lot. I, I would much rather this just been the Briscoes versus the second gear crew. Um, the matches that they've had were much better than this, um, but whatever. Uh, this was just okay it was not that great um there were some they worked really hard but it just it was just a mess in my opinion it wasn't wasn't very good um they they ended up having to do a lot of really hardcore like death match stuff for it to even get i, I would say not just a mess um so yeah uh then we had blake christian versus aj fox um this was good um what kind of you would you would expect i was kind of a little disappointed in this i thought it'd be a little better but it was still a good match, so there you go. Uh, then you had Mickey get Mickey James versus Alley Catch. I don't get Alley Catch. I don't get like the fanfare over her at all. I never have. I don't think I ever will. I, I I don't think she's very good. Um, Mickey James, even in in Mickey James's current state of you know she's past her prime. She still looks amazing. She still knows what to do in the ring. She still can do a lot of things, but she's not like prime Mickey James. Still looked like. And a universe difference between Alley Catch. This was just uh, match was okay, um, but yeah, just just was was there. There was a lot of like a lot of lesbian stuff going on, which was what it was. Um, but yeah, um, then we had uh, a scramble match: Nick Gage, uh, Alec Price, uh, Gringo Loco, Jack Cartwheel, Jimmy Lloyd, uh, Jordan Oliver, uh, Ninja Mac. Um, you know, a lot of good people here. Uh, Nick Wayne won, um, which was cool to see. And um, this was really good. Probably the best. This I, I would say this was the best match on the show. So there you go. Uh, then we had Joey Janela versus X-Pac. This was horrible in my opinion. Um, X-Pac did like this. He like busted his ass. And I hate, I hate having the like crap on this match. But this match went forever it went way too long it was joey janela basically doing his you know overbook um just self-indulgent 
crap that I can't. I, I cannot stand like self-indulgent matches. I just can't. I the, I'm past them. I don't like them with Cody. I don't like them here. I don't like them anywhere. You 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 want me to, to just turn off on a match, start doing just self-indulgent crap, and I'm done, um, for the most part. So yeah, um, didn't didn't like this. Didn't like this at all. So there you go. Uh, then John Moxley versus AJ Gray. Um, <clears throat> this was good. Um, was not a very you know like even. As a hardcore match, it, it was it, it was very lackluster. I felt um, not what like like this is probably the worst John Moxley match I've seen in forever. So yeah, um, and then we had um, uh, John Wayne John Wayne Murdoch versus Alex Colon. I was looking super forward to this match. Um, really was. I, I thought this and um, another match as far as like the death matches were going to be like the best death matches on the. For the weekend, they might end up being that, but I didn't think. I thought this was pretty good. I didn't think it was it was it was great um, at all, uh, or or even good. I just thought it was just kind of like there for the most part. So yeah, there we go there. Um, so yeah, can't recommend that show at all. Then we have the uh, New Japan Lone Star Shootout. This was this was a pretty good show. Um, not you know not like a high caliber. Like, I would say even a New Japan Strong show. Um, it was definitely more of like a go-between show. Um, and you can see that kind of with the card. But it was a lot of good stuff. There was nothing I would even say I don't think was okay on the show. I think everything was at least really good. Um, there was one great match on the show. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you had uh, Rin Narita versus Rocky Romero, which was really good. Um, you had a eight-man, which was Carl... Co Clark Connors, Carl Fredericks, uh, Masquerade Dorada, and uh, Romero versus uh, David Finley, Juice Robinson, Daniel Garcia, and Kevin Knight. Um, Daniel Garcia was probably the most over person in this match, which you would kind of expect, I would guess. Um, it still wasn't as good as I would have expected, but it was still it was still good. So there you go. Uh, Minoru Suzuki versus Killer Cross. Um, I thought this was good. Um, th definitely a contrast in styles, and Suzuki gave him nothing. Um, so, yeah. Um, then you had uh, Jay White versus Mike Bailey. Mike Bailey had such an awesome weekend. Um, I haven't even seen everything um, but um, that he did. But by all accounts, he just had, a, like, just about every match he had was great. And every match I saw, I think, was, was great. So, yeah. Um, just, just exactly what you would expect between these two. Just great stuff. Um, uh, Ishii versus, uh, Chris Dickinson. I was a little disappointed in this. I was still really good, but I expected, um, this kind of a little bit better. So, yeah. Um, it <clears throat> wasn't a very long show. I think it was about two hours. Um, still worth your time to go check out. Um, and was, 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 was really fun. Um, then we had, and I'm sure it, people watching this, this is what you probably came to hear, um, was the Supercard of Honor show. Holy shit, was this match, was this just show greatness. Um, just awesome. And it, I feel bad that I had said that, you know, I, I thought the, uh, that that at the time I made like kind of the preview video, that the Impact show looked a little better because this show rocked. Um, but yeah, we had the, the pre-show, um, which had uh, Cole Cabana versus Blake Christian, which was a, which was a good match. Um, it was fun to see. Uh, we had AQA versus um, Miranda Palais. Um This was okay. Um, nothing to write home about. Uh, AQA is really cream. Um, there was some, you know, her shooting star presses looks really good, though. So, yeah. Then we had um, <clears throat> Tully Blanchard. They announced this, I think, the day before. Um, would have um, a mystery team. Um, we would take on um, Cheeseburger and e I Isom. Or... or he, he had a mystery team and then had an open challenge and Cheeseburger and Eli Isom um, said they would they would they would do it and it was Khan and uh, Toy Alona called they called themselves the Gates of Agony um, this was a squash but it was it it, it it served its purpose as my phone goes off because it's telling me I should be in bed and I'm not um, then we had Dalton Castle it was great to see Dalton Castle on the show um, taking on uh, Joe Hendry um, this was okay not great um, or, or anything, nothing to really write home about, but it was the pre-show, um, I thought the pre-show really did set up, like, the tone of the, of the show, though, so, there we go, 
Uh, then we started off with a match that I think I liked a lot more than, or I shouldn't say a lot, but I think I liked this match more than a lot of people did. Um, Swerve taking on uh, Alex Zane. Um, I thought this was great. Um, I really liked it. I thought it, it, it built really good. I think a lot of people didn't like the start of it because it was it, um, it started off slow and then kind of built. I don't think people really got the, the slow stuff, but um, I really liked it. I thought it was great. Um, I, I, I loved this match. Um, <clears throat> then we had uh, Ninja Matt come out, um, and Tully Blanchard came out again, this time with Brian Cage, who destroyed Ninja Mac. Um I, I get probably a lot of people watch this and were like, yeah, you know, Ninja Mac was was already booked, and then you know they just had him get jobbed. But I did think Ninja Mac did exactly what you would want him to do. Um, he bumped his ass off for Brian Cage, and he did a few cool little things. If you're a, if you're a wrestling nerd, like probably everyone watching this, um, was still able to do a few cool things. So um, I I doubt we'll ever see him in ROH again. That kind of sucks in my opinion, but. I really like Ninja Mac. I, I think I, I, over the weekend I saw him do things where it looks like, you know, because we know what he can, like, do as far as, like, flips and, and dives and stuff. But as far as actually wrestling, I think we saw a little bit more of what he could do. So there you go. Um, and then we had uh, Jay Lethal versus Lee Moriarty. This is another match I think I liked more than a lot of people did. Um, I thought this was great as well. Um, I love the storytelling. I love the fact that um, at the end Jay Lethal had to cheat. And if you followed, especially, you know, the whole, like, <clears throat> where Jay Lethal had been um, with the foundation and, and all of that, I thought it was really good and uh, told a really good story. And this is where Caprice Coleman and Rick Abani, oh my god, these two kicked so much ass on this show. They added so much to this show. I, I think I enjoyed this show, like, more than I probably already would have if if it because of these two, they put on just a a clinic on how to call a show and how to have show that you know be a fan or I shouldn't say be a fan but 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 show that you're enjoying the show, um, get you excited, tell you what you needed to know, tell you the little details maybe that you didn't know, give you the information you needed to to continue the story. Um, it really helped with this match. So yeah. Um, just, just good stuff. I mean, the interterm, the, the women's interterm, um, championship match, because, uh, uh, Dana Peraza was not going to be on the show, so, <clears throat> which I kind of understand, but, um, this was okay. Um, you know, Willow, Willow Nightingale, I like her a lot. I think she, I don't think she's... I don't think she's like top tier in the ring, but she has a lot of charisma, and I think she has enough charisma where it, it kind of overshadows her <clears throat> her faults in the ring. Uh, Mercedes Martinez is, is is definitely really good, and um, so this was an okay match. Um, probably you know weakest match on the card, I would say. Um, even though I think the Brian Cage match was just a squash, but I still I think it was fun to watch. Um, this was probably the weakest match on the card, um, which is you know not not saying a ton. I mean, it's, it's, it still was a good, an okay match. And, um, I think it served its purpose. So there, there we go. Then we had, oh my God, FTR versus the Briscoes. I loved this match. Um, I probably loved this match more than a whole lot of people did. Um, <clears throat> a lot of like the classic, um, Young Bucks matches, like the, 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 the matches with Kenny Omega and Ibushi and Kenny Omega and, um, Page, um, those are great, um, and they're awesome, but I thought this was better, I thought this was better than Bucks and, and, um, and Lucha Bros, um, which I saw live, um, I thought this was better than that, um, this is probably the best tag match I have seen in, like, 20 years, and I, I absolutely, I, 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 I believe that, um, I loved this match, I was into this match from, like, the start to the finish, um, I thought this was awesome. Um, I hope in some ways that the Briscoes are able to, to I don't know, I, I, I hope somebody at Warner Brothers, like, realizes that, just, just, oh my god. Um, you know, I, I hope this isn't the end of the Briscoes in ROH. I hope there's a way for them to come, because this fucking rocked. Um, just everything about it. And um, was definitely, definitely worth the hype. 
Um, at the end of the match, uh, the Young Bucks came out, uh, attacked the Briscoes, um, hyped up the, which I thought was a little weird, gives me a little bit of hope about the Briscoes, a little bit. I still don't think we're, we'll, we'll probably see them, but a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and hyped up their match with FTR on Wednesday. So um, we'll see. We'll see where that goes. So, yeah. Um, then we had uh, Minoru Suzuki versus Rhett Titus. This was another match that they announced. Uh, most people figure Rhett Titus was going to get destroyed. He did. He got a little bit of offense, um, but Minoru Suzuki won the TV title. Um, so, yeah. So there you go. And then we had Wheeler Yuta versus Josh Woods for the pure title. I love the pure title. I love pure title matches. I probably like this a little bit better than a lot of people did. Um, but I thought this was really good. Um, Wheeler Yuta won, which, of course, continues his little story. So that was good. <clears throat> and then we had Jonathan, Jonathan Gresham versus Bandito. Um, I thought this was great. I, I loved this, too. Um, and uh, Jonathan Gresham won, which I think everybody probably figured was going to happen. And then uh, Jay Lethal came out and was like, hey, you know, I want to be the first one. And and Jonathan Gresham said, no, you know, we, we, we were going to build this on, you know, the principles of Ring of Honor. And you cheated to win, and I'm not going to give you a t title shot. And um, Sanjay Dutt was there. They, they set up on commentary that, you know, he was best friends with... Uh, with Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal attacked Jonathan Gresham, beat him up, and then uh, Sanjay Jett came out, looked like he was going to, to you know, get some sense into uh, Jay Lethal, and then he started beating up Jonathan Gresham as well, um, and then, and then, Samoa Joe came out with new music. I love his new music. I think it's awesome. I think it, it, it it's, you know, it's not classic Joe music, but it's still, I, I I've listened to that thing a bunch of times. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a huge Joe Mark. Um, he came out. If you know the story and the history between Joe and Jay Lethal, you know, it just adds that much to the whole thing. Um, the commentary team even explained it to a little bit. So, yeah, I loved this show. I thought this show was awesome. Um, everybody, which I'm sure everybody's already heard this, should go out and watch this show. Um, it's definitely worth seeing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's amazing that a show that Tony Khan didn't even want to put on, that he definitely, like, probably booked on, on a flight to, or a trip to, uh, to Dallas, um, you know, turned out this great, but yeah, this was, this was awesome, so yeah. <clears throat> then we had, uh, Gringo Loco's The World on Lucha, um, which I thought was a pretty good show. I, I like this show a lot. Um, I probably I might have liked this show a little bit better than a lot of people did. But um, uh, you know, we start off with uh, <clears throat> Johnny Mundo, Johnny whatever you want to call him, um, taking on Jack Cartwheel. Thought this was okay. There was a little comedy in it. Um, I, I, I hoped it would have been a little better, but eh, it was what it was. Then we had Tony Deppin versus Psychosis. I didn't like this very much. I thought it was kind of boring, to be honest. Um, I'm not into Tony Deppin as much as a lot of people are. Um, but, yeah, so there was that. Uh, then we had uh, Shane Mercer, Airboy, um, Chris Carter, uh, Drago Kid, Golden Dragon, and Octagon Jr. Um, in a scramble match. This was good. I love Shane Mercer and scramble matches. He's just a big dude. He just throws the little dudes around. I love it. It's just, yeah. Um, so I like that. Um, this was the other hardcore match that I was looking forward to. Uh, Pangano versus uh, Sadika. Um, I thought this would be really good, but unfortunately, um, Pangano just looked like he had didn't. He was like had better things to do. Um, they did a lot of crazy shit. Unfortunately, it was just kind of like I don't know. It's just because it was so disjointed. Because like it was like, eh, who cares? Um, it just came off as like pretty good instead of as good as I had hoped so eh. um then we had a Lucha six man this was great uh team uh gringo um Abessal, Negro Jr. Demonic Flamingo and Gringo Loco taking on ASF Laredo Kid and Ray Horace this was great had a lot of great crazy spots um was exactly what you would expect um just was just was all sorts of fun then you had AJ Fox versus Ninja Mac um, this was good. Um, I had hoped it would be a little bit better. Um, I'm never, I said AJ Fox, AR Fox. Um, AR Fox matches never really hit with me for some reason. So, eh, maybe that was part of it. I just thought it was 
it was good. That was about it. Um, then we had Dr. Wagner Jr. versus Cycle Clan. I probably enjoyed this a little bit more than a lot of people did. Um, I just love an old school brawl, and uh, that's what we got. Um, this was this was a lot of fun. It was, it was fun to watch. Um, so yeah, um, enjoyed it. Um, again, I thought this was a pretty good show. Of, of the GCW shows I watched, um, it'd be this or Bloodsport would probably be the best ones I've watched. So there you go. Then we had Impact Wrestling's Multiverse of Matches. I thought this was a great show only because um, there's enough great on this show to kind of outweigh the blah on the show. And then I shouldn't say blah. There, there, was, there was nothing, I don't think, bad on the show. Um, there was a lot of good. Um, there was only one match I think that I thought was okay. Um, but Or two matches, maybe. But, um, but yeah. But uh, we had an Ultimate X match, which was kind of weird given where they were at. And, and you could tell that the Ultimate X thing like was almost to the ceiling. Um, uh, Trey Miguel, uh, Blake Christian, Chris Bay, and Jordan Grace, and Rich Swan and Vincent. Um, this was good. Um, it was looking to be, like, great, and then the ending was just kind of there, as you would expect with Impact. I don't understand why Impact booking always just kind of, like, eh. And every time I try to watch, it's just like, eh. I'm not into intergender either, so. But um, Jordan Grace looked fine. Like, I, it didn't it didn't bother me in this. And then we had Mickey James and Nick Aldis versus Chelsea Green versus Matt Cordona. Um, this was okay. Um, the problem I had with this was was when Chelsea Green was in there, it just didn't look very good. Um, when everyone else was in there, it was it was it was pretty good, but Chelsea Green just kind of brought the whole match down to me. So, yeah. um, but it was it was fun. Um, then we had uh, Mike Bailey versus Alex Shelley, another great uh, Mike Bailey match. Um, just yeah, a match you should probably go anywhere to see. Um, then we had uh, the women's tag team uh, four-way, uh, the Influence versus the Decay uh, versus uh, Gail Shaw and Lady Frost and um, Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles. Um, I know the Impact women get a lot of like hype for being like, oh my God, it's so great. Um, they do feature them a lot. I don't think they're that great. I think that and I'll get to that in a little bit. But um, this match was pretty good. It wasn't. It wasn't as good as you would hoped. Um, I'm sure the the I would think I would hope the WWE match for that is on. I think it's tonight. I think. Um, what was the last night? I think it's tonight. Um, the tag match would be better than this. I would hope. Um, but yeah, I, it just didn't do much for me. Um, then we had Ishii versus Edwards. Um, I was looking extremely forward to this match. This match kind of underdelivered, in my opinion, but it was still really, 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 really good. Um, uh, you know, I love Ishii. I love Edwards. Um, Edwards is one of the guys that, like, if they would do better things with Edwards, I would probably watch Impact. Honestly, he w he would be a guy that would get me to watch Impact. So there you go. Then we had a uh, Jonah versus Josh and Josh Alexander versus Moose and PCO. Um, this is, should have been a match that, like, should have gotten all the people who probably were watching this, um, this weekend, and I'm sure there probably a lot of people did watch this, um, to get to watch Rebellion, which I guess is the next show, and, um, this tag match should have probably helped with that, it didn't in my opinion, I thought it was good, but it didn't really help with that, so, and PCO got hurt, I guess, in this match. Uh, then we had Donna Peraza's, um, open challenge um it was fabi apache which if you kind of following like the storyline like even me like, loosely following figured it was gonna be fabi apache um <clears throat> and i like fabi apache um not that i think she's like the best in the world but i've always been a fan of hers um and this is kind of what i talk about when i'm talking about the the like donna Parraza is really good i think but she's not good enough to like make other people good unfortunately and that kind of happened here and this match was just kind of okay. Um, it wasn't great. And I think that happens a lot with the Impact Women. I think they get featured a lot. And I think because they're featured a lot, people are like, oh, they have so much, they have such a better women's division. And, you know, you can feature people a lot, but featuring them and then them going out there and actually delivering is something else. So there you go there. Then we had uh, Chris Saban versus Jay White. This was great. 
Um, really good stuff. Um, I'm not the biggest Jay White guy. That would be Markeem, but I still thought this was great. I thought he had a pretty good weekend too, Jay White. So then we had the Good Brothers versus the Briscoes. This bugged me to no end because they were actually on pace to have a great match. And then they pulled a fucking regular, like, right out of New Japan, Bullet Club, House of Torture, bullshit finish. And it killed the match. And this was still good. But this could have been, like, really great. And um, it wasn't. So there you go there. Then we had uh, the last match, that I, or the last show that I watched, which was uh, USA versus the World, the Russell Khan show. I thought this was, <clears throat> this was a pretty good show. Um... Um, there's one match on this show that I would recommend going to see. Everything else was good. Um, you had uh, Sam Adonis uh, and Golden Dragon um, La Herinda, I think was her name, and uh, Mr. Iguana. Um, I'm, Mr. Iguana is growing on me. I'm not going to lie. Um, I love his kind of comedy bits. Um, I really do. <clears throat> um, this was for the Warrior Lucha Championship, I believe. Um, this was pretty good. Um, I, I wouldn't say it was it was good, but it was pretty good. Um, it was a nice little opener, so there you go. Then we had uh, Rachel Ellering versus uh, Jessica Troy. Um, I thought this was good. I thought it was a really good, solid match. Um, it really kind of surprised me. I like um, Rachel Ellering, but she is sometimes good and sometimes kind of good. And she was she was good here. And first time I've really seen uh, Jessica Troy. So yeah, that was that, that that was a pretty fun match. And then we had Mike Bailey versus Davey Richards. Uh, my Bailey's having an incredible weekend. Davy Richards is still Davy Richards. This was great. You should watch this match. There we go. Um, then we had Armas, uh, Arez, and Arrow Boy versus Flip Gordon, uh, Gringo Loco, and Caleb Connolly. Um, this was good. Um, good six man um, in a in a weekend of six mans. Um, didn't really stand out, but you know. Then you have Bandito versus Extreme Tiger. Versus the uh, workhorseman. This was good as well. Um, just didn't hit with me for some reason. So, and then uh, Calvin Takeman and Big Dynamo. I thought this was, eh. Um, didn't think it was very good. Uh, yeah. And then we had uh, Michael Oko and Rich Swan. Um, this kind of underdelivered for me. I was expecting this to be great. It was just really good. Um, uh, I th but um, it kind of just went on for a little bit. But it was what it was. But yeah. So watch a ton of wrestling. Um, like I said, I got one more show that I had planned on that I bought that um, I haven't watched, which is uh, Spring Break Night Two. Other than that, um, yeah, just just absolute. Just this has been a pretty good weekend, um, wrestling wise. Um, reminds me, like trying to watch all this stuff was absolutely just insane. Um, I don't know how Larry Zonka used to watch like all this stuff. I really don't. I don't know how he watched all this stuff and, and was able to get reviews out in a timely manner. <coughs> Guy was a machine, um, and he is missed. But um, but yeah, um, just absolutely um, good stuff. Um, the GCW stuff, like I said, um, the Gringo Loco and of the stuff that I saw, Gringo Loco and um, and uh, Bloodsport were probably the two best. Um, the the Joey Janela's show I thought was absolutely horrible. Um, wish that had been better, but definitely go see Supercard of Honor if you have not yet. Um, I loved, loved, like I said, the, the Briscoe FTR match. Absolutely, in my opinion, one of the probably the best tag match I've seen in 20 years. And I know a lot of people probably kind of roll their eyes at that, but I absolutely believe that. Just an awesome, awesome, awesome match. But anyways, um, with that, I'm out. Have a good one later.